this is uh, another episode of EK Sinbad. I'm Sinbad. This is something very special that I didn't think I would be able to be working on any time in the future. But uh, we have a new project coming to the channel. It's not mine. Um, I don't want to announce it just yet. But I do want to show you this because it just came in in this huge crate. It is amazing and I just have to share it. So check this out. So what we have here is a Roadster Shop spec chassis. Uh, hopefully I'll be doing an <clears throat> unveiling video or unboxing video real soon of this. But it comes just like this, crated up. Uh, we had to get a tow truck to get it from the shop or from the, the shipper here. So we brought a tow truck in and dropped it off here. Uh, I might, be sh might have some video of that. I'll put it in right here if I do. The way we spec this chassis is uh, we didn't do any brakes on it because we're gonna do a, a Willwood setup uh, that we're gonna order and put on ourselves. Uh, but we do have the third member. Um, if you can see like right here, it's cut out for your exhaust and it actually has threads in the frame so you can bolt in your exhaust hangers and then right here the drive shafts will come through to the third member um, just looking at this I mean the welds on this are amazing look let's see hopefully I can get a good view on that everything's boxed in everything's triangulated it, it, it's really if you can afford to go this route it's a no-brainer um, I would definitely suggest <clears throat> going with a, a full chassis if you can afford it it just cuts all the guesswork out it comes pre-assembled I mean like they only have two bolts in you have it's not completely assembled but it shows you how everything goes together so you just have to get everything in and tightened down now we are gonna have to <clears throat> uncrate this and completely pull it apart because we're going to send it all out to powder coating so there's going to be a whole video on that too probably where we'll um, bag everything and tag it so that way we can uh, see how it goes back together easily take pictures detailed pictures as much as we can so we know where everything goes and then uh, after that it'll be like putting it all back together but this is, uh, uh, again, I'm not going to tell you what it's <clears throat> going in just yet, but stay tuned and uh, you'll see. So on the spec frame, they've got a bunch of little details. Like they cut out spec in the frame here. There's uh, another spot where they've got their RS logo. One more spot where they've got the RS logo on the front of the cross member. It's really cool. Like some of the welds again and just the way they put this all together it's awesome <laughs> now one of the options we decided to go with was the brake line kit you can see here they run it super smooth it's uh it's all tucked in along the frame rail into the frame and then out of the frame on this side over the four link up into a steel braided line and then it's hugs across the differential over to each side on the rear um, that is a little bit of an expensive option uh, I would absolutely say go for that it's uh, it's really impressive to see uh, how, how they actually run the lines on that note, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.